coming up as a little migrant, a local migrant boy, now as a scientist for a major university, driving the only mobile lab that I know of in Texas to do what I do. I mean, it's just, it, it's just a drive, it's a passion. I am the uh, mobile lab project coordinator for the University of Texas Pan American, servicing the, the students of the Rio Grande Valley and showing them the wonders of, of uh, the fields of biotechnology and forensics. We're going to La Villa High School. It is a very, very, very small school district. I get to bring that science that they thought was, was inaccessible to them. I get to bring it to them and show them and say, hey, look, you can do this too. I mean, it, I did it, you, you can do it. And there it is, La Villa High School. They want to learn, they're eager to learn. You can see it in their eyes, you can see it. I mean, you can see it right when they put on their lab coats. Immediately their, their mindset changes, their attitude changes, they're, they're scientists now and they feel it and, and they act it. And you can see it in, in, in the way they, they present themselves, you can see it in, in uh, how they run the experiments. I introduced to them the concept of PCR and polymerase chain reaction, uh, an amplification of their DNA. Now take the brush and scrape. First thing they have to do is extract their DNA. Scrape, scrape, scrape. What you've done is you scrape the layer of cells off your cheeks. You want to knock off everything that's in that brush onto that tube. It's what they see on, on CSI and the forensic shows. It's so abstract to them. And, and when they get to see it in front of them, now they get to, to actually feel it in their hands, work with that micropipette, look at that DNA, watch that forensics uh, gel run. Hey, it worked, you see? That aha moment that they get is just, it's, it's so surreal. You see that look in their eyes, that look of, of I, I got it. To them, it's a big accomplishment. They got to do something that they see only done on, on TV or, or they only read about or hear about, and, and they got to do it, and they understand it, and, and that says, hey, you know what, if I can understand this, and I, there's nothing that they can understand. It's more exciting being in here than what it is in school and class. It's more hands-on, you get to do it on your own. You don't have to read it or anything. Like, you can see and you do it by yourself. Well, what I learned today was how to use the pie pads, how to exchange into those little tubes to get my DNA. I had a lot of fun and it was a really great learning experience. I, I think it looks pretty cool. All the new materials and the stuff. Like, I've never used stuff like this before. So it, it was a great experience. It's very cool. We we're very fortunate. Um, it's, it's visiting all the high schools in the valley and, and every, it's under high demand. They don't have to get away from the school and at the same time they can still attend their other classes but during their science class they can go attend the mobile lab. So it's, it's really a, a good thing. It doesn't cost us any money and of course budgets are very tight. In my classroom I do not have the uh, PCR technology that the mobile lab has. That's a $3,000 machine. Most high schools can't afford those and we're one of those that can't afford that. HHMI invested in us. We were able to get the lab up and going and establish the program. Most of the schools around here are definitely under-resourced. The teachers need some help in, in providing that exciting content and, the, and exciting experimentation. I know that it will really engage students. It shows them cutting edge technology and it shows them that, you know, you don't have to be locked in a science lab to uh, get those things done. The president of, of the University of Texas Pan American has realized how valuable this is to us and, and for the Valley, and he has institutionalized. In other words, it's out of his budget. The, the supplies, the people, all come out of, of university funds because this needs to be a partnership. We cannot sit back, wait for the secondary schools to give us their students. We need to be partnering with them to help them. I actually went on the mobile lab in high school and Lupe was on there giving us a little lecture on lab technique. It honestly wasn't until now that I enrolled in entomology uh, that I saw Lupe again and I was like, oh my gosh, it's this guy that just taught me all those techniques in high school. Students that I went to high school with, all of them loved going on that lab, loved going on that bus. Lupe and uh, the HHMI bus pushed us along further kind of as an inspiration for doing research. He is a classic example of, of what we strive for. Uh, to me, I, I've seen him grow, not just as, a, as a, an individual, but now as a, as a scientist. It just shows that out of a, a school that I go visit, out of 400 students, if I get across to that one, 
that one student that I just, he, he clicks or she clicks and, and say, you know what, I want to do this for the rest of my life. I give them that opportunity and I show them how it can be done. If anything, I hope at least that they get out of my visits with them is to develop a passion for something that they want to do. And it doesn't matter what it is, just, just do it because you want to do it. Right, that's your DNA. I was them not too long ago, you know, I, I was a migrant. I feel for them and I'm trying my best to, to show them that, hey, look, I'm just like you and, and, and here I am. It, it's just so very, very fulfilling and, and I, I can't get enough. I love going out to schools. I love working with the students. Sorry, I got a little teary-eyed, man.